So a buddy of mine gave me a set of his old injectors for his Audi S4, but now he's running bigger injectors. And it just so happens that these are very similar to the Ford 42 pound injectors that I'm currently running. There's a close up of the part number on the body, but these are modified. They're not the same injector if you look up that number. And then here's a comparison between the Ford 42. These are the specs. Obviously, since the Audi's a six cylinder, I've got six of them, but I'm just going to use these four, I guess. And uh, he even happened to have the little rebuild kits for him, which is cool. So I'm going to install those. But first, I'm going to take the old O rings and pencil caps off and then clean them a little bit. He was running E85 through these, so they do stink a little bit. Um, so I'm going to make sure that I spray them out pretty good. Then I'm also going to check that the resistance is still pretty close to its specification. I was already at almost 90% duty cycle running the 42 pound hours. So it's definitely time for bigger injectors and these are a nice step up and they're free. So first I'm just gonna pop the O-rings off of both sides and the little pencil cap as well. Now that I have the O-rings and the pencil cap taken off, the next thing I'm gonna do is pull the little micro filter out of the end of it, and I'm just gonna gently fish it out with a scribe. There it is, I got one of them out. Now I got three more to do, and the way that I was actually able to get it out of there is uh, a way that I saw a guy on YouTube do it once. You just stick a screw in your vise that's the correct size so that the little filter fits perfectly inside it. And then you screw your injector onto the screw. So don't give me credit for this. There's a couple guys on YouTube that do it this way. And I can see why. It's pretty efficient. But now I'm just going to wrap wrap the injector in this cloth and carefully but forcefully pull that little filter out of there just like that now since I don't have these little filters in the ends of the injectors anymore I need to be really careful not to get any dust and grime or anything like that into the injectors So now I'm just going to spray a little bit of carb cleaner into this end and just soak them a little bit to try and break up any deposits, get any of that unburned corn. Alright, so now that they're all filled with carb cleaner, I'm going to let them soak for a minute or two and then I'm going to back flush them with the battery and then run them forward a couple times to check the spray pattern, put the rebuild kits into them and then put them in the car. Check for the positive side, and obviously that's the side that I'm going to run to the battery, positive. And then I'm just going to run them in reverse, spraying the nozzle end towards the rail end first to try and get any gunk out. And then after that, I'm going to flip them around and then check the spray pattern through the nozzle and see how they look. Now what I'm going to do is actually run the injectors off of my car battery and then spray carb cleaner through the nozzles and see what the spray pattern looks like. It's not going to be amazing because obviously this isn't a perfect seal, but... First thing I'm going to pull out of this little rebuild kit is the little baby filters. Before I do anything else, I want to install these. Now there's a lot of different ways I could install these but as long as I just make sure that they're square before I push them in not gonna have any problems. 
definitely pretty tricky to press them in there, but they're all there now. Next, I'm going to go ahead and bust out some O-rings here. And now the caps. These are kind of nice. You can hear them click into place. These four injectors are freshened up. Now it's time to go put them in the car. So now I need to prime it, see if anything leaks, then I'll go ahead and play with the tune a little bit. Alright, so I just went into my required fuel calculator in my settings here, and I changed the injector flow from 42 to 55 pound hour. And then the other thing I had to change was injector open time, otherwise known as dead time, and I went from 1.0 to 0.6 so I tried to run the open time as 0.6 but it kind of ran like trash even though that's what the injector is supposed to be so I changed it back to 1 and now it runs pretty good at idle so we'll see how it does in the logs so I just got done taking her out for a test rip no leaks nothing bad happened at all it actually ran amazing it's spectacular what a difference it makes having legitimate injectors in your car versus whatever you pulled out of the junkyard and they match my air filter which is pretty sweet mm -hmm. 